morning traders. Well, FX traders coming into the new week with an uptick in tier one news releases to, to look forward to after a pretty slow start to the year volatility wise. Australia and US employment figures, UK CPI, US retail sales, uh, look to headline and from Tuesday onwards being today uh, being a holiday in the US. Uh, Charts to watch, Aussie dollar US, the Aussie has really struggled to find direction the last week. Uh, it marked a, a big decline at the start of the year, but the pair's really whipsawed around a tight range from about 67.35 to the upside with around 66.45 to the uh, downside there. Market's still a bit undecided about the RBA's moves going forward. Are we peak rates? Is there going to be cuts? And when are they coming, et cetera? So Thursday's job report could see the Aussie find some direction with uh, the above range levels, the key levels to watch. Uh, after November's bumper employment figure, this this one, uh, which is the, the December reading, could be uh, a bit of a surprise to the downside. Uh, cable, uh, the uptrend in pound US has um, faltered a little bit in the last week as well. It's, it's been a fairly strong uptrend since October, but uh, it's come out to a petered out a little. Um, the chartist has a, a multitude of important levels to watch coming into this new week. So they've got the upper trend line, cycle high resistance, along with that lower trend line and the cycle low support being the key levels to watch. To add to the mix for fundamental traders, we do have UK CPI retail sales and also the governor, um, BOE Governor Bailey having a, another speech there. Um, dollar yen is, um, Bucking that trend of the volatility of FX, it actually has had a pretty sharp rally so far in 2024, uh, really following those uh, US, the Japanese 10 yield differentials higher. So last week's move higher in the pair saw a little bit of a disconnect in that relationship. And so I think that dollar yen could struggle to push much higher unless those differentials turn around. Uh, US economic releases also play a big part in where those yields go with um, retail sales, employment, consumer sentiment, uh, all due to hit the wires from Wednesday onwards. So 146 to the upside, looking like the key level for uh, resistance and 144 to the downside for support.